you were up with the non-playing players today. Um, your first time as a Harlequin, yeah. live crowd here. What were your thoughts? Well, that was my old team as well, so I'm happy <laughs> we got the win. Um, yeah, so I was at Worcester for a while, but first taste of the stoop, yeah. live premiership action. What a crowd, what an atmosphere. And y you're back playing premiership rugby, first class, after a little bit of a time away, um, but you've always been in professional sport. Yeah. How is it being back in an environment with the champions? What a way to re-announce yourself. I mean, to return to the Prem champions, I couldn't really have timed it any better. So it's been amazing. The boys have been great. And there's a real buzz about the uh, environment. So it's one of those things where I just can't wait to get my hands on the ball, get back on the pitch and make contributions. Good. So uh, in terms of your, your week on week at the moment, what's it look like? Uh, a lot of rehab. So I'm back running now, which is good. Uh, did some contact progression. So I made my first tackles on a sausage bag yesterday. So my neck's a bit sore today, but I've still got it. So when you made that first tackle, though, did the buzz come back? Oh, you... big time, big time. I was like, oh yeah, I've been gone for a while, but it's still in me. So in terms of um, in terms of coming here, how did it come about? Because I was having some conversations with fans. They were like, do you know what we need is is a is a big nasty second rower. Oh, I've got and that. lo and behold, in front of me here is a yeah. big nasty second rower. So what were the conversations with, with regards to bringing you here? So um, I sat down and kind of spoke to my family about decisions whether to go back to America okay. or come back to rugby and I just felt like I had unfinished business with rugby um, always had aspirations to play the highest level of rugby and this is effectively a home team for me I'm from London and it's a dream to come and play at the stoop so it was really a no-brainer um, attacking rugby I can get my hands on the ball make some dents in attack and defense so it suits me suits my style of play and I'm gonna have fun doing it I can't wait to see it <laughs> um, so on a day like today then you were sat up with the lads um, do these kind of games stress you out when it looks as though we're going to pull away, then they peg you back, or, or because a it's a fan. new? Oh, are you? I'm always a nervous fan. It's much easier playing because you can make a difference. But um, there are a few times there where I thought we cut it a bit close. It didn't need to be that close at the end. But you can see the attacking intent there, and um, sometimes you reap the reward. Sometimes you need to be a bit more conservative. But what a brand of rugby to come and play. Yeah, yeah. I mean. Even conceding tries at the end, the fans here have seen nine tries today. If they, if they're not coming to a game now, then, then we're never ever going to get you here. Uh, what about Worcester Warriors then? Because they yeah. look much improved. You've obviously still know some people yeah, there as well. Boys. I think they could have a good season. Yeah, definitely. They've had um, quite a few changes. I think they got rid of uh, 17 boys. They've had a transition. Uh, similar but few new faces in the coaching staff as well so I think they're in a bit of a rebuild but they've been in and around the Premiership for a while they'll be looking to kind of move up the table this year for sure It's interesting because even though Harlequins are the Premiership champions it feels like there are a lot of new things going on here as well we met Tabs earlier yeah. he seems like a, an unbelievable guy what kind of welcome has he given you? Oh it's been amazing um, to have a, a head coach come in and who's new as well as being a new player it's, it's quite nice because he's seeing people for the first time getting to know people just as you are but the energy he brings a smile on his face every day um, it just makes for a real good atmosphere and really positive um, if you happen to see oh in fact here's uh, right then this man has had a great game but before you hand him the microphone yeah. can we have a talk on his chip kick about two minutes in I don't know if you saw so, it I saw it and in the stands I thought if he pulls this off He'll be talking about it for the rest of his life. So uh, it was uh, good intent, but the execution whack, what happened? 